County, under the leadership of Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, is moving swiftly to expand COVID-19 vaccine distribution to protect our community and move our economy forward. Vaccine supplies are currently extremely limited, and as the state provides more vaccines to the county, we are working hard to distribute them as fast as possible. Register for vaccine updates and get more information at miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Get vaccinated, Miami-Dade County. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. And welcome in WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, here on this fine Thursday morning, the last of July, as we are chugging through the summer here at WDNA. And speaking of summer, we're here uh, nearing the end of our endless summer fundraising drive, raising money for the station. So if you haven't had a chance to donate to the station, now is the time. Uh, you can visit WDNA.org or call 305 662 8889. Any donation, large or small, goes so far to maintain the beautiful programming that we have here at the station, like our normal programming, and then also these special live shows that we're so grateful and, and happy to be able to bring to you, but we're not able to do it without your listener support. So if you have donated before, but you haven't donated in a long time, uh, consider renewing. If you donate $60 or more, you can become a member of WDNA, which comes with a, a number of perks, uh, including access to some of these jazz gallery events once we start opening up our space again in the, in the coming months. Uh, and then if you make a donation uh, of any amount before tomorrow evening uh, at 7 p.m., uh, you're entered into a drawing to uh, a Key West getaway to the Orchard Inn uh, all the way down in Key West. So we're all about giving back to the listeners here at WDNA. We don't want to just ask for your money without returning anything back to you. Of course, the programming in and of itself is a gift, uh, but we want to go even further here at the station. So one more time, WDNA.org or 305-662-8889. And with that, I welcome you live and direct into the Jazz Gallery here on Coral Way. Uh, like I said, this is the Frost Jazz Hour. We bring in musicians who are either currently students uh, or faculty at Frost or have uh, been in the past and, and still uh, maintain a connection back to the school. So this morning is the latter. We have with us uh, incredible pianist vocalist Ben Beal, uh, having gone through the University of Massachusetts as an undergrad and then studied for his master's here at Frost a few years ago. Uh, and he has a really, really exciting quartet with us here this morning. We have Marty Quinn on bass, Jean Kays on trumpet, and Gib Mandish on drums. Uh, we'll talk uh, with Ben a little bit later on in the program, but for the time being, I think we're just going to jump into the music. Thanks so much for listening. This is the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm Philip Capuzzi, and I hope you enjoy the show.
and welcome back into the Frost Jazz Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM, or perhaps you're listening on WDNA.org, streamed live across the world. I'm Philip Capuzzi, welcoming you back into the Jazz Gallery, and we just heard Business Not Pleasure from Ben Beal alongside his wonderful quartet, Jean Cause on trumpet, joined by Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Gib Mandish on drums, and of course Ben Beal himself on piano and vocals. And they're going to continue with another original of Ben Beale's entitled Reminiscence here on the Frost Jazz Hour every Thursday morning from 11 until 12 noon.
Ben Beal here live and direct from the Jazz Gallery on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm Philip Capuzzi, and Ben Beal on piano on that last tune, Reminiscence, composed by himself, alongside Jean Claus on trumpet, Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Gib Mandish on drums. And I also wanted to remind you, the listener, we are here nearing the end of the Endless Summer Drive through the month of July as we raise funds for the station uh, to maintain beautiful programs like this. So if you do have it within your means to financially support the station, any amount, large or small, goes so far. It's also tax deductible. Uh, and if you make any donation before tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., you're entered into a drawing uh, for a two-night getaway at the Orchard Key Inn in Key West. So like I mentioned at the top of the program, we're all about uh, giving back here at WDNA, not only through our uniquely curated programming on a 24-hour basis, day-to-day, uh, but also in these drives themselves. We want to give something back to you, to you, the listener, and incentivize you to donate to the station. So, like I said, any amount goes so far. It's tax-deductible, uh, and you can visit WDNA.org to donate securely today, or you can call 305 662 8889. And with that, I welcome uh, Ben into the Jazz Gallery. Some incredible music you guys have shared here so far this morning. Thanks so much for, for being with us, Ben. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Yeah, pleasure's all mine. So I'm curious, uh, and I like to ask this question about most of the groups that, that come in. This group is, is really intriguing to me. Um, Marty uh, on bass here, ha- involved in so many different groups, Cannibal Kids playing around with the Diego Melgar Trio, uh, really a, a first call bassist here in the Miami scene. Jean Cause, of course, focusing on, on your solo career in the last couple of years, had his second record come out in 2015, following up on uh, his Miami jazz scene record from 2006, uh, almost 15 years ago now. And then Gib Mandish uh, on drums, uh, playing around with Jordan Ratner. He also just stepped in for uh, Xander Ambrose in, in Butterfly Snapple. And then, of course, you yourself playing around a lot, having been involved with the Soul Packs and touring with them in the past, uh, and then your own solo music as well. So, of course, it's, it's par for the course in the jazz world that you would be involved in so many different projects. But I'm just curious how this specific group came to be, how you connected with these, these musicians, and, and how you're all here this morning. Sure. Um well, I had the pleasure of meeting Marty and Gib when I was in school at Frost. Um, Gib came in with me, and Marty was a year later. Um, and we, uh, we, we played a lot then. Um, not always as a trio. Sometimes it was like moving parts. Sometimes it would be like two of us and a different drummer, or we'd have uh, Gib and I, but uh, other bass players. Uh, and then, you know, we, we definitely gelled more, and, and, you know, Gib and Marty are now and like, who else can I call for this stuff? You know, it's, <laughs> you, know the, you, you talked about their versatility, and that's, that's one of the reasons, you know, they're comfortable, they're comfortable swinging, they're comfortable being sensitive, they're comfortable playing behind singers, which is not something that, that I, I can say about every instrumentalist, unfortunately, and, and so, yeah, it's grateful. And then Jean, I had the pleasure of, of meeting only this year, really. Um, I recorded my, my debut project back in um, February, more to come on that hopefully soon, and uh, the horn player who I was supposed to have on the project um, had a, uh, a false alarm COVID, COVID positive test the night before uh, we were supposed to play a record. And I was like, I don't care who you, I don't care who you get, just find me someone yeah. good. <laughs> At that point, I was like, what, am, what else am I going to do? And he was like, I know Jean Cas. And he came in with no rehearsal, of course, you know, nailed everything. And, and yeah, you know, it's, he's definitely led to him being part of stuff, you know, going forward. That's awesome. Yeah, so you mentioned that that debut album that you recorded. I'm I'm curious, is it in the mixing stage now? What's the what's the release schedule for that? Yeah, it's in the mixing stage right now. Um I would say this fall, hopefully. Awesome. Um, don't have don't have more specific release date right now, but look for it in the fall. Awesome. Yeah, Absolutely. good stuff. Yeah. And I also wanted to ask you about about your journey to the music. Um, like I mentioned at the top of the program, you, you went through your undergrad at the University of Massachusetts. But if I if I remember correctly from from my research, you started in in the history program instead of instead of music having some passion in foreign language and history in addition to your passion for music. I personally would venture to say that those are are more intrinsically connected than one might think. So it doesn't surprise me personally that you stepped into music after having been interested in those prior to that but i'm just curious if you could kind of speak on on your journey to the music sure uh well i mean you know those those other subjects have always kind of been things that i've I've been interested in but um you know it took kind of going to school 
like actually starting the program in in history before I realized like okay this is this is not what I want to <laughs> be for the rest of my life like I don't want to be an academic I don't want to be a, a historian or, or something like that I still I still love it you know I still you know those are things that I will always probably be passionate about but I basically after after two days in the history program I begged my parents to let me audition I was you know I was doing music in high school and but it wasn't until then that I really got more more serious. Um, I got lucky the the UMass program. You know, they took a flyer on on a pretty raw young vocalist and, and pianist, and you know, the, the next four years was kind of just like a, like soaking up everything that I can in order to to really like grow into uh, someone who could do this for a living and really work. And and then I got lucky again. You know, Dr. Reed took a chance on me at Frost, and then it's just led to it's led to me just really. I don't know, like growing, you know, growing my circle and meeting all these incredible musicians and working in different situations, you know, it's all of that I have to credit, you know, the training that I got at those schools, at those places, for sure. Yeah, you've definitely made the, the right decision, if I do say so myself. I agree, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot more music uh, ready to go here on the Frost Jazz Hour, but uh, before we step back into that, we're going to listen to some messages from the station. We'll be back in just a moment. Live and direct, WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour here on this fine final Thursday of July. I'm your host, Philip Capuzzi, chuffed to be joining you, as always, from 11 a.m. until 12 noon. And we have with us uh, an incredible quartet this morning, Ben Beal on pianos and vocals. He's leading this group alongside Jean Cause on trumpet, Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Gib Mandish on drums. And we just heard from, from Ben Beal just a moment ago, so we're just going to continue on with some music right now. Coming up next, a Leonard Cohen composition uh, arranged by Ben Beal entitled Show Me the Place. Show me the place where you want your slave to go. Show me the place I've forgotten, I don't know. Show me the place, for my head is bending low. Show me the place. Where you want your slave to go Show me the place, help me roll 
I can move this thing alone. Show me the place where the word became a man. Show me the place where the suffering it began. The troubles came, I saved what I could say. A thread of light, a particle away. But there were chains, so I hastened to the haze. Change so I love you like a slave.
And welcome back into the Jazz Gallery, WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm Philip Capuzzi, and we have with us, uh, sharing their beautiful music and story, Ben Beal on piano and vocal, Jean Cause on trumpet and flugelhorn, uh, Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Gib Mandish on drums. And Ben and I, we're, we're going to speak uh, one more time a little bit later on in the program, but I just want to continue on with the music. But before we do so, I want to remind you, the listener, once more, we are nearing the end of our Endless Summer fundraising campaign here at WDNA. Through the month of July, we've been raising funds for the station to support and maintain beautiful programs like these, uh, beautiful programs like the Latin Jazz Quarter, uh, 88 Jazz Place, Cuban Neando, Cafe Brazil, uh, Brainville, so many different unique programs that uh, we're so grateful and honored to be able to present to you uh, every week, in and out here at the station, real humans in the studio sharing their conception of the music and their conception of the philosophy that relates to it. Uh, it it's as raw and genuine as it gets in terms of music discovery. Uh, but because we're so focused on that aspect of uh, the music here at the station, we are more so in need of listener support than other stations. So if you have it within your means to join the WDNA family, support beautiful programs like the Frost Jazz Hour, the FIU Music Hour, uh, and all of the other shows that, we, that we're that we so honored to bring to you here at WDNA, you can visit WDNA.org, or you can call 305-662-8889. And even more, if you do so before tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., you'll be entered into a drawing to win uh, a two-night getaway to the Orchard Key Inn in Key West. So we're all about giving back here at the station. Uh, and it's also tax deductible, so it's a, it's a win-win-win, if you will. Uh, WDNA.org or 305-662-8889. Just a moment ago, we heard Show Me the Place as composed by Leonard Cohen and arranged by Ben Beal and played by this wonderful quartet. And now we're going to move forward with I Want More. something more to see is there something more to do can i be true to me and be true to you am i really living right am i really taking flight i know it is enough but somehow i can't see i know it isn't worth it Somehow I still need it. Can I be satisfied? Can I quench the fire inside? Will I ever write a song? Will they ever sing along? Will I ever win this race? Will I ever leave this place? I know it is enough, it is enough, but somehow I can't see it. I know it isn't worth it, but somehow I still need it.
got it made when it looks okay from the outside in but i'm thinking no still so far Somehow I can't see it, I know it isn't worth it, but somehow I still need it. Yeah, yeah, Ben Beal live and direct on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. That's Ben Beal on vocals and piano alongside Jean Claus on trumpet and flugelhorn, Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Gib Mandish on drums. That last tune entitled I Want More. Uh, and I want to remind you, the listeners, once more that we're here in the middle of our endless summer, or not really the middle, but rather the, uh, the end of the endless summer campaign here at the station, raising funds for WDNA 88.9 FM to continue on these programs that we're so happy and honored to be able to bring to you. Uh, so if you have it within your means to donate to the station, any amount, large or small, goes so far. Even if you've donated before, I urge you to, to re-donate um, and kind of reinstate yourself as a part of this WDNA family. Uh, so much of the funding here at the station is reliant on listener support, more so than, than most other stations. Uh, so if you enjoy WDNA, you listen to our programming on a day-in, day-out basis, uh, please consider giving back to the station. You can visit WDNA.org or you can call 305-662-8889. And if you donate tomorrow, or rather before tomorrow at 7 p.m., uh, you're entered into a drawing for a two-night getaway at the Orchard Key Inn in Key West, uh, which is super, super exciting. And if you donate $60 or more at any time, uh, you are a member of WDNA, a sustaining member, uh, and you receive a number of perks with that membership, including access to some of our jazz gallery events once we start to open up our spaces again in these coming months. Uh, so with that, I welcome Ben Beal uh, back uh, onto the air once again here this fine morning before we get into the last couple tunes uh, from this wonderful group. Ben, I wanted to ask you, as, as a vocalist and a pianist, uh, do you prioritize one instrument over the other? Uh, because I think the layman can sometimes forget the difficulty of, of playing two instruments at the same time, the rhythmic independence that's necessary to, to be able to speak through both instruments simultaneously in a way that isn't too tethered to one another. And, and I would venture to say that you do so quite masterfully. So I'm just, I'm just curious kind of how you've come to this place. Well, thanks, man. First of all, that's, that's very kind. Uh, it's it's a definitely a, an ongoing process to, to develop that independence. Definitely still working on it. I know, you know. But uh, I guess I, they sort of came up together. Like I started playing piano first, and then I, was, I, I sang more in high school. Um, but then it wasn't until I got to college that I sort of saw the value of them really going together. Like it helped me with just like training my ears and, and feeling like I was more comfortable in just like doing one, th or like hearing a, hearing a concept or hearing a new kind of chord or something. If I could sing it, I could probably play it or vice versa. It would help me immediately give me like that feedback. Um, and, you know, there's, there's not, you know, it's also like, it's sort of practical too, like, you know, for work, it's one less person to pay, you know. <laughs> but uh, at, the, at the same time, it's also like, it's, it's fun to have that control too. Uh, but I will say, like, for tomorrow I'm doing a gig with a piano player. It's very freeing mm. to, to only have to think about one thing. Um, so I do, I do still relish those moments. But I, I would say they, they're, you know, they I try to bring them up together. So. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. So, so kind of on the note of, of balance as well, I was always also curious, uh, because you teach a lot, run a private studio, and, and you're also pretty involved as a performer as well. And I feel like that's kind of the essential balance as a young musician that can sometimes be difficult to strike is, is 
you know, teaching enough, but not too much. And then, and then on the other side, the same thing. So I guess if you could just kind of speak to, to your experience with that so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've had the privilege of teaching, I know, like since I got to Florida about five years ago, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of lessons. Um, it's all different ages. You know, my oldest student is 80. Wow. My youngest student is like four. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's, um, I'm still working to find that balance as well. Um, you know, in the past few months, I've been able to sort of give away a few of the students who, who didn't quite click with, who we didn't quite click, click as well. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for that privilege that I've sort of accumulated over time. Um, it's very valuable. Though. I think everyone should at least try to do it once, once in a while. It, it, it sort of highlights your own weaknesses too as a, as a player. It sort of allows you to, to work on the things that, that you're talking about, you know, that you're trying to show someone else to do. Um, but yeah, you know, still open for lessons if anyone wants to hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, speaking of plugs, before we get into the, the last uh, couple tunes from you guys, you mentioned this debut album that you're, that you're looking to release, but I'm just curious if you can share for the listeners, uh, where can they find you? Uh, what, th what can they look forward to in these, in these next couple of months to, to listen to, to Ben Beal? Sure. Uh, well, I, uh, I have a fairly regular gig at the Biltmore Hotel on Fridays. Um, definitely come out to that. It's very nice. Um, I play a lot with Soul Packs, as you mentioned, um, kind of all over Miami, um, doing doing stuff in the in the hotels um, as a soloist, solo piano and voice. Uh, also with a, with another fine singer, Louis Amanti. I accompany mm -hmm. him. That's another advantage of being a singer who plays piano. All the <laughs> singers like you. <laughs> and. Um, and uh, yeah, much more too that I'm probably not not thinking of, but yeah, ch check check Instagram and all those all those things for updates for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks so much for for being with us here this morning and, and sharing your music. It's it's a great pleasure. Uh, so for the listeners, just to remind you, we have Ben Beal on vocals and piano. That's who I was just speaking with a moment ago, and joining him this morning, Jean Claus on trumpet and flugelhorn, Marty Quinn on upright bass, and Gib Mandish on drums. Uh, so what do you guys have next for us? This is um this is a tune made famous by Ray Charles, um, entitled uh, "You Don't Know Me," uh, with with an arrangement by an old friend of mine from Frost, uh, Andy Sturmer. Awesome, yeah, take it away. your hand to me and then you say hello and I can hardly speak my heart is beating so and anyone can tell you think you know me well you don't know me no you don't know dreams of you at night, who longs to kiss your lips, who longs to hold you tight, oh, I'm just a friend, that's all I've ever been, for you don't know me. for you afraid and shy I let my chance go by a chance that you might love me too you give your hand to me and then you say goodbye and I watch you walk away beside 
like that lucky guy. Oh, you'll never, 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 never know the one who loves you so. For you don't know me. Ben Beal on trump or Ben Beal on piano and vocals. Excuse me, Jean Claus on trumpet and flugelhorn trumpet just a moment ago. Marty Quinn on upright and upright bass and Gib Mandish on drums. Uh, this is the Frost Jazz Hour every Thursday morning from 11 a.m. until 12 noon. It's been uh, a great pleasure here this morning, and also looking forward to next week. We're going to have a, a very special performance from Roxana Ahmed alongside Martin Bejarano and Mark Small. So very very much looking forward to that program. Be sure to tune in. Uh, next Thursday, as every Thursday at 11 a.m. until 12 noon. Uh, and I wanted to mention one more time as well for you, the listeners, we are nearing the end of our Endless Summer campaign fundraising for the station. So if you make any donation before tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., you're entered into a drawing uh, for a two-night getaway at the Orchard Key Inn in Key West. Uh, if you donate $60 or more, you become a member with the station, which comes with a number of incredible perks. Uh, and any donation, large or small, uh, goes further than you know to maintain the beautiful programming that we have here at the station. So if you've never donated or you haven't donated in a long time, now is the time. Make the donation while it's on your mind. WDNA.org or 305-662-8889. And I think we have time for, for one more tune. Uh, so what are you guys going to close it out for us uh, here this morning? Uh, we're gonna close it out with a with a beautiful ballad um, that will be featured on my on my uh, album entitled "For All We Know." For all we know. Awesome. Thanks so much. Once again, WDNA Frost Jazz Hour, uh, and this is gonna conclude the show. Thanks to everyone for joining us. This moment sweet again. We won't say goodnight.
my hands my heart will be in it for This may only be a dream. We come, go like a ripple on a stream. So love me. Tonight, tomorrow was made for some. Tomorrow may never come. For all we know. on a stream so love me tonight tomorrow was made for some tomorrow may never come 